Visuals. Welcome to the Future Guys podcast, Rumble on Talking on Talking on Shenanigans. As Chris torments my dog, who Chris for a split sec maybe believe was dead. Um, <laughs> he was he was just laying on the floor dead. And he's probably dead because of this fucking weather, Chris. I uh, look look. I've been talking to you and I'm dripping. I am sick to death of being up. I mean, physically I can't help it. You know what I mean. Everyone loves a dad bod these days. Dad bods are fucking in, mate. Um, <laughs> I put the light on. I don't do. I do. I dwell in the darkness. You dwell in the uh, darkness. But yeah, the, the heat can officially fuck I off. I dwell in the darkness. I, I, yes. Hello, darkness, my friend. I um. I said to you in in, uh, in Woody's, I was like, "Is it usually this hot in September?" Because I can't remember being this hot in September. I really can't. Like I'm going to bed, and it's like I've pissed the bed. Now, what was my answer? Uh, no, I feel like you said no. <laughs> yes, yeah, no. Uh, I'm, it's but, the hottest September of all. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so dumb, mate. Like, it's unbelievably dumb. I should be getting ready to put a woolly hat on and wear a, yeah, wear yeah. a jumper and get that, that, that I hate on. that weather, so I'm loving this. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> loving it, mate, but I'm constantly stinking. I'm constantly sweating. I can't do anything without... I'm, fucking... I'm like that through the week, so... I can't breathe. Can you imagine, mate, being this fat cunt that's sweating just walking to work, then I get to work and I've got to do my work, and I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Just, I would not, I would, if I, when I was walking to work on Friday, somebody jumped behind me and stuck a brick over my head, I would not, have, I would have been like dying on the floor, oh, sir, thank you. I would have asked for their fucking, I don't know, bank details and certain what pennies I have left. Like say, on Friday, I didn't, because obviously I've got aircon in the wagon. Why is aircon in your wagon? <laughs> so I didn't, really, I didn't realize how fucking hot it was until I stepped outside, I was like, Fuck yeah, it's like a oven, like a furnace. Yeah. Um, speaking of um, shit like that, are you allowed to say what you just on about there? That surprised me. You mentioned something in the table podcast, and you went, "Oh, that's something I just didn't realise." Yeah. Are you allowed to or not? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You were very. Uh, what's the word? Coy, coy about it? Coy? Is it coy? Ah, yeah. there's a word for it. Yeah. Chris has got something that he didn't know. It surprised him. <laughs> Girls poop. I blew my mind when I found that out, mate. I only figured out who Rushi Sunak is. <laughs> you... Only because I was in the pub on Friday night having my dinner because yeah. I was stuffed down fucking south again. Yeah. And he was on the news talking about whatever was going on in over in Asia. Yeah. And I was like, that's the Prime Minister. I didn't realize he looked like that. Yeah. Wait, I only wait. figured out. <laughs> so, you, so you knew the name, but you didn't know the face. Yeah. So you just found out the British Prime Minister what he looks like. Yeah. <laughs> so he could have walked past you in the street and you'd have been like, all right, mate. And that was it. You were, and so now he's like, that's fucking Prime Minister. <laughs> Chris, to be fair, though, you don't dabble in, in, in politics. I don't. So, but I feel like you should know at least what the Prime Minister looks like. I feel like. At least. You don't have to agree with the shit, but if shit went down, you should be able to go, oh, that guy's our leader. We should. Well, that's, that's not... Like you said, I don't dabble in politics. I fucking hate politics. Mm-hmm. And he's always on the news about fucking something. And I was like, yeah, let him go. Blah, 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 yeah. blah. But like, it's never actually occurred to me what it looked like until I seen him on the TV. I'm like, that's Rishi Sunak. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Wouldn't they make that right, mate? Um, what did you picture him looking like? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. But the fucking Indians love him, apparently, because he's... Is he, Indian is he, native? Is he Indian? I, I have no idea. Well, his I know his parents are from India or something, but he's from born India. in wherever he's born, in over here. I think there's quite a few um, sort of Asian, uh, that sort of part of the world, um, leaders in our parliament, in our government at the minute. I think there's quite quite a few. Um, yeah, he's Asian ascent, Indian ascent, so to say. And uh, yeah, that was Rishi Sunak. Chris is really? Chris is a major discovery. <laughs> he's only been prime minister for like a year or Maybe maybe, maybe a year or maybe the start of the year. But I don't know the answer to be fair. I think when see when good go to work, my dad go to work, always stay at home whilst being at work. When he was in charge, I'm sure he was like the head of like NHS or some bullshit like that. Like he was he was he was up on the podium with him yeah. when, when good old B Dog was losing his mind. I don't know what I'm talking so about. Who's in charge of Scotland now? <laughs> Is it not that little fucking <laughs> bitch? No, but, she got fired. Oh, did she? Because apparently. Again, radio, don't do TV, but radio through the week. Her husband was dabbling money on the side, uh-huh. so she had to step down to fucking sort his shit out. Oh, I've 
no idea. Not, so not I, I have no idea who's Prime Minister of uh, whatever you call it in Scotland. It's uh, it's quite funny. I am not one to speak in because I'm an ugly fucking fat cunt. But you never really see good looking, many good looking politicians, especially in Britain. Nah. Like, you know what I mean? Imagine like Harry Styles all of a sudden, where people are like, oh, that's a good looking lad. Maybe listen to him more. Instead of somebody with like a big schneb and like a massive forehead. We need Jeremy Clarkson as Prime Minister. Yes, I know. There, yes. there, would, there would be a lot of... Uh... Yes, but he will tell the truth. And a lot of people like the truth. Especially the way Britain's gone on. If Britain carries on the way they're going on, apparently it's what they're saying on the radio. <laughs> Britain continues go carrying on the way they're going on. In five years' time, we're going to be fucking shit. We're all just shit anyways. Obviously. Well, apparently we're trying to get back into the EU because we made a wrong decision of coming out of it. Hey. Scotland and Ireland want to go independent, so if they fucking break away, we're screwed. Well, they already had the uh, inf- what's it, what was it called? Inf- uh, referendum. Aye. They already had that in Scotland vote no. So. It's fuck noise. But no, it's not always the best. Sometimes you need to for us to go on with our happy normal lives. You need to just okay. Shush, shush, we'll keep strong. But it's matter because the, the, the Prime Minister's and, and thing is that anyway aren't really in power because you need too many people to put them in power and the people in their party need to give okay and clear for them to do decisions and stuff. Well, you got eyes to the right, it's, noses to the left, or whatever. Yeah, it's weird. Like, for, for example, when an American president to pass like a new law or whatever, he needs most of his party to agree and then they need to pass it in Congress and shit. They can't actually really do a shit amount, they're just the face of it all. It's fucking weird. The the it's like people like the Rothschilds, you know, that own every bank and have funded every war on both sides and stuff yeah. throughout human history. They're the ones that are really in charge of fucking everything, man. It's it, it's all a weird corrupt system and stuff. But I don't think I could use politics though. I would love to, you know it sounds stupid, but the way Ali G did it and he went in and he was just saying don't. I would love for someone like that to run, but even to run though, I mean you can't just go and run. You have to be gone to a certain school and have a certain backing behind you and come from a certain wealth and all that kind of shit. You yeah, can't. Just, why? I don't know. You can't. Surely, because it's a popularity contest, you should be able to. If you want to, if you want to think, you should be able to put your name in a hat and then every whatever it is, so many years, they should just pick people out. Then you have to spend a year talking to the public and then you make a decision. Why can't we just vote? Mm. Right, who's in the room for this week? Jeremy Clarkson, fucking. Fucking, I don't know. Alan Shearer. <laughs> Alan Shearer. And, um, <laughs> who else? Jimmy Savile. <laughs> <laughs> from the grave. A nonce from the grave. Um, we'll, we'll put him in charge of our schools if he was alive. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, At least they know we won't be falling down. <laughs> Mate, that's nuts. Uh, the fucking sand centre. Because it, it, it's the a cheap one. Yep, yeah, it's a cheaper version of concrete. So all these places are building with it because the sand centre never come to us. And we were thinking it should have come to us, you know, some legit shit. And they've got this new way, it's a lot cheaper and whatnot. And it's Where are they getting it from then? I, I, don't, I, th- I think it's like, it's you know how ours is made with aggregates and all that kind of Ours is made quite literally, right? It's the most simple thing. Sand. Sand and water. Sand, stone, cement, water. But isn't stone <laughs> brick? So you're making brick with brick? No, brick's uh, like one solid piece, whereas concrete is like a load of stones. Is it? And a load of sand and a load of cement. Uh, and then, but then you have different mixes and the strengths and whatnot. Uh, but they never come to us, and now they've used that. And I bet you any money they come to us. And I wouldn't be surprised if my boss is like, "Should have come to us before. You better." Pay up. I'd fucking double the price. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a funny one. I make something even worse. Are you the only cement mixer in town? Uh, in Carlo, yeah. Um, it's funny. Uh, there was a, a concrete mixer at work the other day that broke down as soon as it left the yard. <laughs> In the big six meter wagon, there was six meters loaded on it, and because uh, it broke down, it sat in the sun, and all the concrete in the back of the mixer went solid. Nice. So we've been. Well, I haven't done it. I'm not That's going in there. Chisel away. Yep, yeah, go in and chisel parts <laughs> away, and it's it's not even finished now. It's probably about two meters in there. It's one of the lads at work, and it keeps diving in. It's, as soon as he comes in, he's got his headphones, he's ready to dive in it. No way. One of the lads come out in a blue shirt, and it was. Dark blue from sheer sweat. You could feel the heat coming off it standing outside of it. <laughs> if anything could fuck up, it had to be a wagon there with that problem with a full capacity load. <laughs> and you look at it and go, 
That's job truly fucked, isn't it? It's, it's one of them. But obviously, I don't have to pay for the thingy. On my if if he would have to get rid of the drum, it's like fifteen grand or some shit. They're not cheap. It's no, it's fuck, mate. When we got one of these drums delivered, I remember taking it off the wagon and because it's rounded, it, it, they, they, they used to had four stackers, one two at the back, two at the front. And they lifted it off and it had to be in sync, but the two on the right weren't in sync and it went warm like that. And it went like fuck me. And you're like an Indian Joe running after the, the boulder. <laughs> It was like, get me the fuck away from me. It's like, who was the hands? Like, I am not doing that because you fuckers will die if I'm part of this. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that was a. But yeah, the Sun and there's like 500 or 600 schools in the cross the country. Somebody went underneath one of the floors and put a, a broom. Well, apparently it's it. not that extent. It's not. I don't know. I just I saw five hundred or something schools. There's only two in Cumbria or three in Cumbria. I think they've narrowed it down to only. Just over a hundred schools right, is okay. actually a main issue. Right. It's still going to cost a shitload to refix, especially right. if it's floors above. If yeah. it's foundation. There's a couple of schools where it's like just an odd classroom here and there, but there's a lot of them that's like, right, the entire fucking building here. It's going to have to get re- <laughs> knocked down and really The kids are loving it. The kids are like, can't that a school because it's literally non existent. Yep, so it took a lockdown all over again. Absolutely fucking. Parents are stuck at home. The kids are getting given a laptop or whatever. If you believe crazy lad at work, there's a lockdown coming soon anyway, mate. Well, so. apparently, because the last week or the week before, uh, I mean, even, uh, for some strange reason, a new case of coronavirus appeared. Oh. Which, that, uh, for some strange reason, they're, they're mecking. I don't know why they're making it, but uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's in Scotland, apparently. Oh. Yes. So, a short, short, little, long beer, yeah? So, we'll be all fucking locked down again shortly. Oh, mate, please give me another lockdown. I was getting paid. I was chilling at home, and I was on I the time of life. No, I was, <laughs> for three weeks I was at home, and then every fucker else had about six to eight months off, and I'm like, this is so unfair. I had to do. We had to do everybody's work. We just, uh, I think, six of us went in, and I've never been so. T- I feel like my body's still catching up from that to yeah. this day. Oh, uh, it was fucking horrendous. Was at the time I was obviously I went on the milk for a little bit. And then after they went on the van. Were you on the milk at the time of the COVID? Yeah. Well, yeah. Then I got my every for months. Ah, shit, yeah. And then I went on the milk for a couple of months and then went on the van. Then I worked throughout the entire bit. That three weeks was, that was it. it was, I loved it because there was nobody in the road. All right, nice and dead. <laughs> nice was. and empty. I got Quite to work in Edinburgh an hour. Mate, how mad is it, right? Think about it. That that is now part of our history. I know. A moment where most of the world the was locked world down. Was locked down. And then we had all these memes coming out. You had like that guy that was doing the fitness program every in the morning yep. and stuff. You had all these different challenges. Wasn't there a bog roll challenge? A kick up challenge? Surely it was like a bog roll. See, that bog roll one was always. I don't know about that. the bog roll challenge. Sorry, I don't know about the bog roll challenge, but I know there was a fucking bog roll shortage because that, everyone was going stupid. That was weird, that, because if, <laughs> if I was really, if I ever needed to and I was an eater and I thought, I've got no bog roll, just on a shit, I would probably just jump in the shower and try and wash it away. Yeah. And I was, I was thinking to myself, why, why are they. I mean, because the water still works, so just... Yeah. Get out of the bin, you yeah, dirty little trap. have a shower. Yeah, have a I shower. I still find it weird how some people poo in the shower. I was like, how do you poo in the shower? How do people poo in the shower? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know this was a thing. Yeah, apparently it's a thing. A lot of people pee in the shower. <laughs> Oh, yeah, mate, I am very much guilty of pissing the shower. <laughs> yeah, I am myself. I am very much guilty. <laughs> I am myself, but I, apparently a pooing in the shower is also a thing. Well, that, you have to... But yeah, yeah. It down. Apparently, you... you Pull the fucking drainage out, and then you just squat. <laughs> I, uh, don't know, because my, my, my curiosity is peaking here. I'm thinking next you time... You can't pull your drainage out, though. You, oh. Oh, you've got a bath. Oh, so you okay. can't do that. I can't if I wanted to in mine, because I'm going to walk in, shall we? Uh, if I had the shits, maybe, where it's all like... Yeah, if you milk. had diarrhoea, yeah. No, I've never thought, oh, I'm washing my hair, I might as well take a shit. I've never, <laughs> I've never come for, I'm combining the two. Just think, like, yeah, it's not like, you know, I'm going to have to, I might as well pick up some milk and bread while I'm here. I'm in the shower, might as well shit. No, 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 that one's not fair. <laughs> I don't want to poo down the shower, thank you, sir. Yeah, but so, for, yeah, look, it's mad. It's part of our history, now it's weird, and now it's weird. all these years of just... But you need things, sorry, but you also need to do with like 9-11 as well. Yeah, well, oh, shit, is that a... No, it's the tenth. It's tenth today. What? What day is it today? It's the thirteenth or something. Is it the thirteenth? <laughs> yeah. We missed nine eleven. It's the tenth today. Actually, tomorrow's nine eleven. Jesus Christ, man! But you need to think we got that as well. Yeah, uh, for for us who 
you know, I've been around 30 years, you've been around 35 years. Um, there's been a, quite a bit that's happened inside of all the well, Fallout Boy redid it, you know, the we didn't start yeah. the fight, and then they go through all the different stuff that's happened. Yeah, right. Fallout Boy have redone their own version and then mentioned all the silly stuff and all the serious stuff and that. It's like, we've lived through a lot of weird stuff, to be fair. What else have we had? What else is, uh, look, my, mine and your age? Mm. What do you mean, like, um, really bad stuff? Martin, what do you mean? Well, Martin, yeah, Martin, not Paul, but Martin, the older brother, old, older brother. He lived, I say really lived through it, but he was he was alive when Chernobyl happened. Jesus Christ. I was born. Stay there. When, when was it 80, 86? Oh, no, it wasn't. I think uh, it was 86, wasn't it? I think you might be right, actually. I think you might be right, yeah. Martin was three months old, because it happened in April. Yeah. So yeah, Mike was three months old, and Paul was born so eighty six, but Paul wasn't born until December. Ah oh, right, okay. Ah, can I look? So the yeah, you've got you got Chambers part of the history. For for us, we've had like remember, remember the crazy tsunami that hit for to Thailand. Not to only that property yes. devastated. Was ah. it Thailand? It was one of the Asian countries, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah um, we we've had all that kind of the um. Uh, banking crisis, um, uh, two fa- year two thousand, where they all thought as soon as we hit two thousand, the computers that are all going to shut down and go nuts and go mental. Do you remember that? I remember the fucking nineteen ninety nine into two thousand. They all thought, "Fuck me, we've lived through the alleged 2012 twenty twelve when yeah. it was like, oh, where did they-? apparently though the, the Gregorian calendar, yeah, that the right? Gregorian calendar. The, yeah, it's supposed to happen soon. Yeah, it's, it's, like, what? it's weird as fuck. But we've also had, we've lived through a lot of weird uh, uprises in like. Like fashion, or like like the late nineties, early two thousands, that yeah. kind of stuff. And we've got mobile phones, we've got computers. Technology has mm-hmm. gone through the fucking roof. It's uh, it's fucking it. Yeah. Because there was no technology. Well, there was, <laughs> but not a lot of technology when I was at school. Mm-hmm. As soon as fucking two thousand and whatever happened, it just fucking went bananas. Yeah, it's yeah. We've lived, we've lived for a real weird peak because obviously, before, as I was getting older, we had weird technology and shit. Yeah, you remember. <laughs> <laughs> Ever seen them films where they're looking for an old news article and they go through this fucking, not the computer, but they go through this fucking. You've got to put some some in a yeah, don't machine. They, don't they have it? You've got to fucking. Yeah, I'm sure they have it in it. I know what you're on about. It's like a computer. Like they put the the old newspaper articles and you click it and it'll. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I remember using that. And the apprentice at Land Rover Jesus to look at parts. Christ. <laughs> that's how fucking old. Wow, that's some old shit. I like the projectors at school as well. Yeah, you take the fucking pit, you clear fucking shit but off. And just it just before you're about to sit down for a good eye him, why the fuck do they make him sit on the floor cross leg? Yes. Yeah, he's got the ha. Well, and he's thinking, what the fuck are we doing here? It's fucking no. <laughs> he was, was the fucking sitting on a cold ass floor in Cross the winter legs. yeah just fucking, to sing fucking come by ass singing about Jesus and shit while someone's got a projector and just fucking oh my god so weird school t- school like I miss school life itself anyway like, I was like, saying this this morning I fucking wish because obviously I mean I'm, I'm playing a game it's space shit and obviously I was listening to some fucking low space shit as well I fucking love space. Yeah. I wish I stayed in school. <laughs> yes. And it could be Sheldon. Could be me- well, well, can... Maybe not quite. He's, you know, eidetic memory and shit. A Raj or something? <laughs> well, the white Raj, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah, you, if you're stuck in... Well, it's not too late, though. You can you can go get textbooks now and nah. study and learn. and It's just all about, you know, it's create the right time. For me, I'd have to go to night school. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> unless I win the lottery, so I can fucking retire for a year. Yeah, just study. study. Yeah. mate. Speaking of science and all that kind of shit, um, I I never realised that this is the first time I've noticed this in Jurassic Park. What we've just watched, um, on the the fact what's the name? The fact guy's computer. That's a picture of Oppenheimer. It's on his computer. Is it? Yeah, the actual. I'm thinking. Oh, fuck God, you. I've never once noticed that ever. There again, Oppenheimer's only really been relevant in my mind. Oh yes. Massively yeah. now. <laughs> yes, I've seen her as well. Yes, yeah. that's, that's for you. Never once noticed that. Yeah. It's meant to see the bit where Sam I, Jackson. I, I didn't even notice a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, but like you said, it's been about a year to two years since I've last watched it. It's, it's been a been, lot for me. Yeah. Um, I always I'll always forget how much Sam Jackson smokes to fucking that film. Um, I, every time I watch that bit, I'm like, God, 
and not do the fact, especially the way he's doing it away computing that way. I think that was the first time I watched Sam Jackson. Um, I think it was the first thing I seen him in. I, I could be on the same lines. I'm trying. I know I watched Pulp Fiction at a far too young age, but I don't know if it was Jurassic Park first. I, I it might be the same for me. I don't know. <clears throat> Yeah, potentially fuck noise. Um, but yeah, so we've lived through some cool shit, mate. We have. You know what's weird as well? How it's getting different and different for kids, right? I've, I've told you about this before when, you know, Fortnite made a massive game. Yes. And kids going on about, oh, that's so-and-so from Fortnite. And obviously, I was babysitting uh, my pal's kids early when he's at football and whatnot. Yeah. And he was looking at my tattoos and he saw Goku and Vegeta. And it's the only time I've wanted to uh, pick up a, a small child and like <laughs> Batman does pain and slap their back. And he went, oh, Goku, Vegeta, they're the guys from Fortnite. And I looked at him and thought, what the fuck did you just say? Yeah. <laughs> they're not the guys from Fortnite. They were already there. Fortnite just used them as a fucking actual. Yeah, it's... Kids nowadays, they've got no fucking clue. Now I do. Do you know? I will never understand is the attention span. I understand some people can't help it, like mentally and whatnot. Mm. But the attention span of stuff, I will never understand. In, in, a, in a minute, Virgil Paul did it not long ago. He said um, he walked out of Oppenheimer because it was too much talking. And I wasn't the one to pick up on this, but it's a great point. So to put you do a podcast, that's just talking. Yeah. So how the hell have uh, you? What the fuck? Even because I'm a massive Logan Paul fan, I'm thinking, yeah, that's a bit of a fucking idiot move. How can you? Why? Yeah, it's a bit of a condescending move considering he does it himself. Yeah, all you do is talk on a podcast. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the, the attention span of stuff, like, I'll, even if I'm disinterested, and like a film, whatever example, I'll still stick it out to the end. Yeah, you, you've got to. You, you're watching a film, you've got to fucking at least finish it. Like my mate Rich, I've always I've said this to him, I said, I'll never for the rest of my life ever forgive me for this. I love that boy with all my heart. He is one of the best kids ever, and I hope he has the best future. I love that dude. But I said, I'll never forgive you for this one thing. We did a list where I wrote 10 down films and he wrote 10, 10 films down. Smash his list off. And his were the worst things. And it was them um, sex films on Netflix. The we, uh, uh, 360 odd days. And there was another one. The most cringiest acting and horrible. It was all about a guy that loved a girl, but he was a bit of a ruffian. And she, I don't, there was a moment where he's like, oh, what did he say to her? I'm going to fuck you good. That, that was kind of acting. It was, honestly, mate, I wanted to kill myself. It was the worst shit ever. <laughs> I give him what I could c- call epic shit. I give him the Dark Knight trilogy and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, stuff that I think you'd enjoy. On it, I said, start off with the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Just do the normal editions. It's some of the best stories. That he finished Fellowship. He went, ah, that was really good. I thought, yes, get in. He's into it. He got about a quarter of the way through Two Towers and he never went back to it. He went, I can't do it for too long. I was like, you were loving it. What's going on there? And I finished his dumb fucking horrible list within the space of a week. And I included one TV show or something. But in a week, it was done. And I said, do you know what, mate? You can do mine in a week, one a week if you want. Take as long as you want, as long as he's, and he still hasn't touched it. And I watched that dog shit, and he's got one and a quarter films. So, I mean, the attention span for kids nowadays is just fucking shorter. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, you can't talk to them or I'll kaboom. I'm back, and I'm here. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm saying yes is in like a complete again with um the the little lad I was looking I won't say his name or anything uh, that I was looking after before. Um I, I said to him, I said uh, you support City, don't you? He's like, Yeah, so how can you support City? And he's because they're the best. And even that blew my mind because I'm thinking when I'm growing up, City were just a they were League Wong's championships, they were a nothing club. But obviously because of the year that he's grown up in, City are like the best team in the world, they've just won the treble. Yeah. And even looking at it from that perspective, when I was growing up it was Manchester United, it was Liverpool, it was Arsenal, it was the mm. pinnacles. And now hearing it differently and being like, fucking hell, Man uh, City. I, they weren't big like, were they? Mm. Obviously it was somebody who's never followed football. They were, they, they <laughs> called the noisy neighbours of Manchester where they were just, you know, oh yeah, you exist in Manchester but you don't do fuck all. Yeah, it's possible. Well, somebody who doesn't follow football, I remember them not really being big. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they're, they're amazing. They're, they're literally, out of, they're, you can't argue they're the best team in the world as it sounds right now. No one's arguing that. But like, just to hear these kids growing up now, like, I grew up with the big names of the Keens, the Shearers, the Thierry on Reason. They've now got the Mbappes, the Harlands, the Jack Grealishes. And I'm thinking, this is just too, this is mental. Like, cause he won't remember ever of Manchester United being how big they were in. Um, you know, Arsenal's a bit undefeated yeah. season and that. And it's like, we've literally, we're on the same planet, living the same life, but at completely different times. And your view on everything is so going to be different to mine. Because he's only, uh, what is he, four at the time? 
Um, kept calling me fucking fat. I was like, yeah, I'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> But you got to chase me, son, you got a fat belly? I was like, yeah, I know, I do. I like you off, son. I know what you mean, though, because I was the same when it came over to the Formula 1. I had David Hills, Michael Schumacher, mm-hmm. fucking Sebastian Vettel, and, like, they've all gone and retired and fucking, they did they do all the training and all that shit now. Where fucking, well, you've got yeah. all these rookies in there. Like, I am not a fucking clue who got you up. Nah, just all these other comments. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Yeah, but it, it might be the same when you were watching it, for example. This this might be wrong, but I'm just using the point. Like, the best car might have been Ferrari. Nothing ever touches it. Now, growing up, it could be Mercedes that nothing ever touches. And then, in 20 years down the line, it could be, you know. Where things are going, it's going to be electric next. <laughs> Probably Tesla or something. That's a point, just to go into a side tangent. All cars have got to be electric, haven't they, soon? Does that mean racing cars as well, then? Yeah. Like Formula 1 cars? They're almost there. There's all there are some FE racing. So Formula 1 and stuff will be after. Will that slow it down, then? No. It won't slow it down. Electric cars are fucking rapid. Sweat. Absolutely rapid. Electric cars. Oh, well, so it's still... It's if still you look be, at... Uh, it won't have the same noise, though, will it? No, they're fucking quiet. So you won't get the... No. Oh, isn't that part They've of got it? a little hum. Oh, that's not as... A, it's not as... It's not as... <laughs> But uh, if, you, if you put up a Formula One against a, a Tesla Model S, for example, mm-hmm. a te- well, the, one of the latest ones, the Model S, uh, 1200 brake, mm-hmm. it's fucking rapid. It's not to 60 in like less than two seconds. A Formula One car is like two point something seconds. So right, it's fucking okay. shit off the shovel compared to a Formula One car. Fuck, I haven't yeah. heard that phrase in ages. Carry on. The only time the Formula One car will win is top speed. Right, the electric right. cars are limited to a certain speed where obviously Formula One's going to fucking plow up. Right, I'm with you. But, I'm with yeah. you, sir. But let's like, say electric car, electric Formula One's right, or Formula E, as it's Formula known. Formula like, That's what it's, it's like, say, they're, they're all. Yeah, it, it's happening. And r- rally cars, there's, there's a couple of rally cars that's electric now, they're going that way. Uh, it's eventually uh, 2035. There's no more electric, no more petrol and diesel vehicles to be sold. Right, Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. Yeah, I remember them saying that. I don't for fuck knows. It. Um, but just because we're still on about sports quickly, I will mention Newcastle start their Champions League uh, journey soon with AC Milan away. Um, it's a bit shame because they, they play the games in the cinema. And I, I, I want to go watch Newcastle in the cinema in the Champions League, but unfortunately, Christopher, well, for the foreseeable, till when you'll be in the, uh, you'll be out and about in the wagon. Mm-hmm. I was over to take because I watched the Champions League final couple of seasons go in the cinema, and it was just mint just to watch it in the cinema, sat comfortable, relaxed ah. in the big screen. It just looked amazing. Um, it was what? Amaze balls. It was fucking amaze balls. Uh, but yes, I'm. I'm gonna after this. I'm gonna go die off and sweat and just be absolutely fucking vile. Uh, we do though. A couple of a couple of weeks, we do have Dan Smith's Christmas shop, which I can't wait to drag Chris along for. Um, his car is gonna be full of toys. My buddy's gonna be full of Costa and potential cum because I'm gonna ejaculate so much down toy aisles. I know that sounds extremely wrong, but I can't help it. I have the mind of a twelve year old. I was about to say as long as it's not in my car. Well, it will be in your car, but it will be inside of me. I'll just be ejaculating inside. Go down the toilet aisle. Oh, man, I can't wait. Dude, it's been proper bad. The last few nights I've been going to bed thinking, all my payments are done for it now. I've been going to bed thinking of just daydreaming of going down that aisle, going down this aisle, picking up that Lego. I'll have to show you the Lego set I'm planning on getting the, the Batman cave because you'll appreciate your action. fuck you because if you've got it, you wouldn't build it. So fuck off. <laughs> Go away, Chris. Still need to buy the blade. Yes, you get it on that day. I'm sure they'll have it in Swifts. Well, no, but you, maybe. You, yeah, and no, I'll never fucking build it. Where's Where's the Batmobile sat? In the spare room. Can I? Can we just bring it in? I'll build it for you, mate. Please. <laughs> it's got to the point where my sister's boyfriend's built his. You've mentioned and, it. Him saying it, yeah. And he wants to build it just to get it out of the way. Yeah, it needs. <laughs> it's. 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 I can't. I, I'd feel. So, I, I can imagine the pieces inside of their bags now sat there being like. One day tomorrow, tomorrow's the day, boys. We might get built. I can, I can hear them all talking to each other. <laughs> so this morning, I was looking at a screen of Lego. Jeez. I was thinking that's like three thousand pieces. I'm like, what Lego set was it? It was just a Scania truck. But it was ah. a Lego one. I was like, maybe not because I haven't built it. That and that's I'm not, not that massive. It. It's not that big. <laughs> oh, mate. 
And it would look adventure because I know like you've got you like set up and whatnot, and you've got a few fun coins and stuff now. It will look. To be fair, I need to solve this. Oh, I've got. A, I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but I have a sticker for you. Oh, you have a on. stinker. A sticker. I need to it's sort the sticker. spare room out to be fair. I don't know where you're gonna put it, but I need. I need to. I thought it was quite pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll find somewhere to put it. It's very Last of Us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's my baby, so I'll look after. I will. You know, yeah, I got it in a big old pack of stuff. I was like, oh, you know, you don't need this. Yeah, um, yeah. I need to go through. I need to sort out my spare room to be fair, because I like, I want that. Because I got the money, so I might as well try and sort it out and get a fucking a decent computer, get a gaming computer back. I, like, I miss having my gaming computer. Yeah, you used to smash that thing every night. Oh, I did you? It. What did you sell it? It was getting old, and it just kept crashing because oh. I I had that much shit into it. And I had fucking two one terabyte externals full of films and music oh, as well. So what did it give up on life? <laughs> it did. A lot. How much was it? I got to fair. I got it given off my uncle. How much would it have been to buy? Oh, back then, like I was still living with Anis. Yeah. You're looking at maybe two grand, two or three grand. And it then. just died. And except I got it off my uncle. It wasn't the best, but. Over the road, our neighbour, he was quite seen with computers. Yeah. So I was like, well, asking him, look, I've just got this off of my uncle. Need to upgrade, upgrade it a bit. I want to be doing this with it. I want to be doing games. And he says, right, the best thing you do is get this, 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 and this, and this. And I did. And I fucking kind of built it. But obviously, we're fucking figuring it out. And mm-hmm. fucking, right, that's a move board. That's a move board. Right, that goes there. Right, figure yeah, it out. I wouldn't have a fun glue. <laughs> so I kind of built my own computer. And then obviously I started doing music and films where yeah. I was burning them, so they had yeah. their own externals, so that they would get that was constantly going every week. So it it, it, it died after a good bit of work. Yeah, because you were playing your truck game on it a lot, weren't you? Yeah, do you know what truck? Yeah, I remember that. I remember. <laughs> I, I think did I come on yours and watch, or did you show me video? I, I remember watching. I feel like it was you playing, or maybe you put a YouTube video on around here. Can't remember. I remember going around a truck because I didn't get it at the time because you yeah. were just driving normal speed yeah. limits and I'm thinking, when does something blow up? When are you going to kill someone? What's going on here? And you're like, no, no, you just try and I'm like, ah, I don't get it. <laughs> Not a lot of people do. When you say, yeah. well, I drive a truck for, I drive a truck in a game. And I'm like, mm-hmm. eh? Like, yeah, you, you just drive from A to B. People to love them simulators though, all kinds, and people really do. The only one I would play is Go Simulator because I know that's a massive. Like, fuck on, you can go set off nuclear bombs and shit as a go. That just sounds hilarious. Um, I said there's loads out there. There's train. But there'll be someone I've throwing tried. a cubic to it, is there? The, oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet there there's is. There's the plane ones where you can get oh, a full mate. set up of a plane. No, because I would love to crash it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would love to crash it. <laughs> in certain buildings. Yes, in certain <laughs> buildings, mate. I know it sounds bad. I know it sounds horrible. I would never wish it in real life, even though it's happened. But if I'm playing Plane Simulator and I see a building, I'm going to be like... Yeah, fuck it. Let's see what happened. I, I would have to be done. I could train. I'd need to derail it. <laughs> My ex manager from the uh, the one I didn't get on with. Yeah. Um, he's into farms and that. He loves his farms. Grows crops and that. Grows his crops, fucking his cows and his sheep. He loves yeah, people, his people, farm. People, it, people it, do it. I love simulator games. It's I love that. Mate, at the same time, you can sit around, turn around, and Dan, all you do is run around, put animals and bulls and make them fight. You, you know what I mean? It's each their own. Yeah. It. It's, it depends how you feel with it all. Um, but for fuck's sake, I keep replaying Batman's. That's, you know what I mean? That's just this, a guy just literally the bat beating up black clowns. And you're like, Dan, it's fucking pointless. But it's just each their own. That's all it is, mate. Um, so people say, I don't really get it. I can see the therapeutic side of it. If it's you just nice. start driving. The only thing I would never understand is because I. Don't do it in real life. No. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. I, uh, the only bit I would never get is because I play games as an escapism. Yeah. So, like, I would never buy a game with fucking batch more in concrete. Can't pay you only a 50 quid on Xbox. Well, there is a fucking. Don't, mate. There, there is. Um... Piss off. I don't want no concrete simulators. Well, it's not concrete per se, but construction sites and stuff. <laughs> no, because again, I'd want to build the house with mortar that's never going to go off so it collapses and the family die. I was around Laura's house and she had Sims and all I kept saying was, I'll oh, kill them. Please get that one killed. I'll kill that one. Sims. Yeah, and she's like, no, I don't want to just kill them. Please, I want them all to die. I want them all to burn. I'm a pure, horrible, vindic- There's nothing better in GTA than driving and seeing a street full of people and going, hey, time to die. I'm just taking them out. Like I said, I don't play GTA, but just seeing all these bodies flying about. It's like my inner 
a psychotic little bastard comes out. I would never, like I said, never in real life. Because you can't drive. Yeah, if I could drive. <laughs> hey, stay <laughs> off the paths. Um, I'm plowing right through you. But no, I don't know. It just feels like, ah, we shouldn't do this. But in this game, we can. Hey, mate, for, for God's sakes, everybody that played GTA always got a hooker and always beat her up for your money back afterwards. Yes. Everybody that played it did it. It's not just me. It's not just everybody did yeah, that. Did it, yeah. Even though when they're sat shagging, they're sat in the scenes like that, aren't they? They're just doing that. And you're like, oh, well, that's not right. You fucking little liars. Yeah. You spun the camera on and they're just sitting there. Yeah, but as soon as they get out, you just that's it. All right, cheers, love. Um, you're about to die. Yeah. Right, anyway. Because I don't know what it is. We just turn into horrible little bastards on GTA. Some people do like to play. That was what I'm probably though. I know they like to just drive and do it normally. My nephew, Aaron, he loves GTA. Every time he's around, man, come for GTA. Come for GTA. He just wants to smash GTA. Just, he does. He just fucking drives over everybody. <laughs> he does. <laughs> it can't be helped, man. It's just the whole... You can see, I don't agree with it, but you can see why for, for a time there was an argument of like, look at video games corrupting the youth. They wanted to cause crimes in real life. I can get the argument. I don't agree with it. But I, I never played GTA and think, oh, right, I've played GTA for an hour. Let's actually That's go into real life. Yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, it it kind of, it, it, well, look at the two people in America, two teenagers. Yeah. They played a video game. I remember which one it was, and they went and fucking around on a mass murder. Do you not remember? I don't know if it was because of the film of the game. Remember the Slender Man? Yes. Them two girls that stabbed that other girl. Yes. I'm sure it was over 100 times, but she survived. I have no idea how she survived. She was an absolute little beast. But because it was either because of the game or the film, I can't remember. It was the film. It was the film, and that yeah. influenced they said Slender Man was telling us to do it. And he right. like, that's, they're two little demon kids. Like, they're two. Like these little girls we're seeing The Exorcist in a few weeks. If I, I see them in real life, I'm curb something then. I don't care if they're little seven year olds. I am, I am stabbing the fuck out of them. As soon as they pull them weird little fucking man, dude. It, it's, it's why I don't do Jesus people. Go, so, they, they, they go into fucking schools, do the shooting. God made me do it. There's a massive kid coming. He told yeah, me to do it. Yeah, but it's not all Jesus people, is it? Yeah, they're still fucking wrong in the head. I'm like, no, yes and no. I'll, yes. I'll, I think I'll always yes. disagree with you on that one because I've met plenty of religious people. And, like my great auntie, she was a lovely old lady. She religious as hell. There's no, like, my auntie's a fucking, what should we call her? Fuck on the balls. Mormon? No, no, no. Um, if they knock, if they knock, knock on your door, I'll talk to you about them. I don't do that. And if they knock at the door, I always speak to them because I've got all the time in the world for Mormons. They oh, are so no, nice. Mormon. Uh, Jehovah's Witness. That's the one. Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, but like the, again, even with them, I remember being in town, stopped by some of them, and I'm just chatting away, everything, and these two are fucking lovely. I could say what I want here. And he's like, it's, it's okay, man, as long as you're happy. And I'm like, you're so lovely. Just. <laughs> the idea of religion is stupid. <laughs> anyone just mentions them, I was like, nah, I'm away. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I, yeah, anyone talks about fucking Lucifer, like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I will, well, without Lucifer, like I said. And not remem- remem- remember what I told you, though, to believe in science is a religion. Yeah. Remember what I told you? I, I listened to finally got around to this. Did you get to the end? He explained it all. He explained it a lot better than me. Yeah. And you're like, oh. Fuck. I was like, fuck's sake. Yeah. So it's all. Uh, but no, they're I still right. Still don't believe. They're, they're, oh, no, I don't believe. But there is a lot of. Co- like, I, I, I've got no issue hearing about Jesus stories because if if they were really, you're like, fuck me, they're, they're kind of cool. That's a, a cool ass story. Um, but I've got. But like, there's. Uh, I don't know if they're Muslim or what. There's some guys that come around and they knocked a few weeks back and they, they have like a certain traditional celebration. They hand out food and that. You think, that's fucking lovely as hell. Uh, they, they knock on your door and they say, we've got this, like, I don't know what this celebration what is. Give me bread and water. No, it's like, um, you know, it's, it's meals that you would like, like fancy curries and stuff like that. And they say, this is part of our thing we have to, you know, with our neighbours, we have to pass on and set, share and whatnot. It's, it's obviously, I don't like it, I don't mean it. I think Ty ate it. Um, it's like, if you've got any dairy milks, Paul, I love that. Um, but it's like, cause, uh, mate, you've got to be honest, a lot of religion is just... The Mormons are allowed to do dairy milk. Uh, no, it's it's. I think I, I want to say they're Muslims, and I'm so I want to say they're from the Moscow over there. I feel like I could be wrong. I don't know. Like like Buddhism and that. Like loads of religions are just peaceful, and that's just God. Like, and it's also badass because a lot of them are disciplined and a lot of fighting skills. And I wouldn't argue with a Buddhist. It's just a cult. Cult cost. <clears throat> cult cost money. Money means war. Just, yeah, but that's not everybody. It's like, it's like I said to you, the, the big argument is all white people are racist because the majority of racists are white, but me and you aren't racist. But that's just somebody saying, well, no, I'm going to think you are. And they just put them in the same category. Yeah. 
So I, I get what you mean, though, because religion has been a cause of a lot of wars and all that kind of shit. But a lot of religious people just want to be happy and just, you know, do whatever they feel like they need to do to get into whatever gives them hope after the, you know, life and stuff like that. And I've got no issue with that. Crack on, you, you do you. But I love hearing it. Like I said, Dante's Inferno is a religious game. And I fucking love that game so much. Fucking, you've got to kill old prison babies and everything in the man. It's mental. I love the Tom Hunt, Tom Hanks films. The Tom Hanks film. Oh. Well, dude, what did he, which Tom Hanks film? The, the three, the fucking Inferno, fucking... Ah, uh, um, uh, Da Vinci Code. Yeah. Um, in, yeah, Inferno. And what was the third one? I can't remember now. That, because that was all about, South Park did that. Apparently it was a bunny at the, at the last bunny. wedding and all that kind of shit. But there's loads of superstitions we do in life now that we don't realise have been passed down from religion. Like the whole, I didn't realise, you, you know, 13 chairs at a table. It's, you, sh- you can't have that. That's all because of the Last Supper and the thirteenth chair was Judas's. It's something we do in every restaurant. Everything's impacted by it. No thirteen chairs at the table because of the Last what, Supper. What the number thirteen or just thirteen? No, chairs? you can't have thirteen chairs. It's mostly gonna be twelve or fourteen. Well, yeah, you can't have it, which is just mental because, like I said, the Last Supper. I suppose it makes sense. One of that side, one of that side, five that side, five that side. And, and Judas <laughs> will betray you. All this superstition is shy about not open, no open umbrella and doors, putting shoes on the table. It's like walking over drain covers or under ladders. See, it's I believe all that shit. Of... But see, there's a lot. There's a lot. I, right? I don't believe in God, right? Do not believe in God. Uh, Newcastle will play football. I will quite often, if I'm watching in my room, and no word of lie on my mum's life, I'll sit there and go, please God, please God, please God, please God, can we just get a win? And I'll, I'll sit and I'll, I'll pray like there is a God. I don't know what it is or why it is or... Or anything like that, I, I will, for some reason, as soon as I need Newcastle to do something, I believe there's some divine entity. I, I, I know, mate, it's fucking, as soon as the game's finished, and I've, I've done it before, right? I've literally done this Stop. before. <laughs> and, yep, that exact thing. Um, when Liverpool beat us a, long, uh, a couple of weeks ago, 2 1, and their second goal went, and I went, fuck you, you don't give a fucking shit about me, do you, you fucking prick? And I'm sat there screaming it, literally, yeah. For yeah. Yeah, because it's just something I can, I can vent up. Oh, it's mental, mate, it's absolutely mental. <sighs> Yeah, you could be one of those fucking psychos. We'll go around new school next. Yeah. <laughs> well, what was the one in New Zealand um, uh, thingy? He said subscribe to PewDiePie before he started killing people. That's fucking mental. Some people are just fucking war. Yeah. And it's... Uh, it's always... God made me do it. That's not always. The guy literally said subscribe to PewDiePie. Some people are just fucking... Because you got to remember, there's a lot more people that have done a lot more heinous acts that believe in the devil. Like all the people from uh, the, what, what they called uh, the Freemasons and whatnot, and all that kind of shit that they used to do was all in the name of the, the devil and stuff. Mm-hmm. And the Freemasons, the, uh, the Assassin's Creed stuff, is all, at the top of it, is all demon stuff, but they believe it's in the name of good. <laughs> exactly. I don't like mentioning the demon you've just barked, mate. That's freaky yeah. as fuck. I, it's... it's... Again, it's fucking stories, isn't it? That's yeah, it is. It is. Uh, Greek we, mythology? We, we I adore could, Greek mythology. Uh, and that's just all about gods. We could fucking start a story and it'd be fucking whatever. Well, religion. Jedi's a religion now, wouldn't it? No, it's an actual religion. Which, to be fair, mate, I'll happily go to church for that. I'm going to sit with a robe and wave a laser sword about. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, Not a fucking problem. Oh, I love that shit. But uh, we'll end it there, Chris, because it's rainy and I'm hot and sweaty. I'll have a fag with you. I'm going to show you a quick ticket talk and then... Uh... Why are you kicking out the door, mate? Don't freak me out like... <laughs> oh, I don't like it. It's scary. I keep whipping a nae in. I know, yeah, what watch your whip. Watch me nae nae. I always do it in proper as, as homosexuals. I can at work. It's like Andy or somebody, I'd be like... Mm. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, you dirty bastard? I mean... <laughs> Can't help it. I fucking love it. Absolutely love it. If I can make people uncomfortable, I like to do it and I don't know why. It's just a weird obsession. I love to make What was I singing that um my boss caught us? I was proper singing for it. Um going local down in Acapulco. You heard that song? Yeah, yeah and I'll, I mean I'm singing it, screaming it, going local down in Pro- my boss. You're an awful weird little cunt, aren't you? <laughs> and I'm like, 
Fuck, so I just have to carry it. The worst thing is that's the only bit I know of that song. So I have to keep singing the same bit. Going local, tune in a couple, go. And it's the way you want You're a real little cunt, aren't you? Yes, I fucking am. Hey, again, I don't know any of this shit because. You go <laughs> I don't know why. Every now, used to it, every now and then I have, I have little moments where I go mental. Like I. <laughs> I quite often with Optimus, I'll pretend I'm in a Pokemon battle with him and I'll be on all fours and I'll be like, fire fang, and I'll go, and I'll bite him on the back of his neck and then I let him do an attack. <laughs> and I'll, like, I'll get him on his back and I'll try and pin him and shit, man. I just have these weird little autistic moments. Like that dancing there, I, I, I in my head, I'm not doing that. I just, <laughs> I don't know, mate. Oh, maybe I'll put the demon inside of me. In all seriousness, though, that new Exorcist film does look fucking freaky as fuck. It did look, they've got a new, new trailer for that, and it looks all. I don't know why they. I'm fine with that trailer, right? I can be like, oh, okay, but Mingan. They, they then, at the end of the trailer, it goes black and white, and it's like all these flash. Wait, I'm like, oh, no, what are you doing? Because I know for a fact I'll go to sleep after me and you have watched it, and I'll be like, and that's it, light on, something funny and silly on the TV. I'm getting yeah, goosebumps. You're 30 year old. Why, why? I can't help it. I, I can't help it. And the, but the worst thing is, right, quite often now there's a mint counteract to this stuff, is I play the intro to the Batman. So I always, you know, the new one where it's, I'm in the shadows and they're, they're scared of the Batman. And I always say to myself, it's okay because there's only Batman in the shadows and I'm a good guy. He's not going to batter me. And that's the best way to counteract it, mate. Honestly, Every, next time you get freaked, because it might happen, I don't get the play the intro of the Batman. You see me on the walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no one's getting scared of that fucking walk, are they? No one's getting minged at that. I don't get freaked. So we're, we're, we're going to go to Edinburgh. We'll do a Ouija board in, underneath the sewers. I'd love to do a Ouija board. I bullshit. I mean, probably are bullshit, but bullshit. just to fucking clarify, it's bullshit. I, I, uh, I, I would do it. I did one years ago with a bunch of mates, and he was moving, and they're, they're trying to spot, and you, I'm literally looking at my mate, and I can see his finger, like, and I'm thinking, I'm looking, I'm going, what the fuck are you doing, man? You can... Fucking absolutely. I, I learned the meaning of, meaning of Ouija. Not only one, I can't fucking remember what it means now, but it probably fascinated us. You little bastard. He was mad that a Ouija boards were a big thing back then. Not now. You can buy them. The fact that it's mad that you can buy them in toy stores. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, hey, kids, want to summon the dead? <laughs> Go for it. It's like, all right, uh, can I have my Pokemon cards, my Funko Pop, and my Ouija board? Oh, you're going to have a mid-weekend, aren't you? Yeah. It's... Uh, it's oh. Because a lot of these ghost stuff, I've just found actually a new channel who I probably love and he watches these videos and he just breaks down how everything's bullshit and I'm like, oh yeah, I never noticed that. And it's it's quite funny because I, I don't believe in that shit. But for some reason, a little part of it from time to time do like, oh, what does it mean? It's, I always believe in the, the unplausible stuff. Like to me, shit that I believe in is 110% Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, werewolves and that. I believe somewhere they're all roaming and shit. And I understand that they're like, mm, no, come on down, shut the fuck up. The werewolves aren't wondering about. But in my head, I'm like, yeah, yeah, they are. So, I definitely believe in Nestor, though, because them tunnels that lead to the sea and whatnot, there was 110 million percent. They just recently did a search for Nestor two weeks ago, didn't they? They did. Um, they came back negative. <laughs> what yeah. <surprise. laughs> but I, may, I will never forget that. I've talked to this when I used to holiday in Inverness all the time and stuff. And uh, we used to always go up there and I'd sit by the side of the water. And I'll just be like, I'd put my like, finger in and I'd go, oh, no, no, no. And I'd run back in and go, oh, and I'd run back to shore. And I'd, like, oh, and I'd sit there for hours upon hours when my dad and whatnot in the pub. And I'm just, it's a bit of a ripple of the water. I'm like, oh, oh, fucking that. And I, to this day, I will always say, Messi is real. Even though I understand it's probably not, but in my heart, Messi is real. 100%. <laughs> fucking love Nessie uh, but yes we, just, we will end it there um, I'm going to have a fine I'm going to show Chris some dumb shit quickly but apart from that tune in next week for some more uh, good ways to uh, satisfy your boyfriends or summon the devil or so, yes you and it summon the devil on New Year's <laughs> it'd be yourself summon the devil <laughs> we'll sat there trying to have a nice chill playing Rocket League and you're giving it summon the devil like the autistic kid in the corner saying who brought fucking Timmy Does, does his dad know he's out? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Summon the devil. 
What? It's a good song. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, come on, New Year's, everybody. It's four. Fruit Shop of the Devil. <laughs> oh, what the fuck have you done here? I'm glad our New Year's. Game one. <laughs> I'm glad our New Year's now consists of movie marathons. Yeah. I'll be terrified. We'll start watching Lord of the Rings for the third film finishes. You're like, yeah, midnight. Some of the devil. Like, get the fuck out, Chris, mate. That's too much for me, Paul. <laughs> fucking free. What is it? Uh, but <laughs> it is. No. Weird. No, it's weird. No, it's meant. It is meant to be weird. Mbappe who plays for PSG does not look like a teenage mutant ninja turtle. It's so weird. I only said because I just saw him there, and I looked at Leo and just thought it's Mbappe. It's how can a human look like a turtle? I don't think I could be normal. I no. don't think I could be a normal person. <laughs> I wouldn't be me. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree go with to you. work, like football, be a proper lad, listen to fucking mate. Like Justin in, Bieber, like in football's not normal. You should not allow eleven men kicking a ball in the back of a net to find you. You've seen how stressed and look. Yeah. That's not normal to yeah. follow, and especially British, well, more British football fans go to games. They're wearing red, we're wearing black and white, and all of a sudden it's like, ha ha, yeah, you've, I've shagged your nan, your granddad's a nonce, like, how is that? It's a bunch of people kicking a ball, and that's what we feel like we should say. You know what I mean? It's it, it's fucking, oh yeah, I want it to score, so you're a pedo. It makes, it's not normal for them with football, mate, it really isn't. No. But it's, uh, and plus, football is a sport you can't just walk into, You, you it's something you feel. Like, I look at the Newcastle United badge, and I feel like a... Whereas, you know, people with Arsenal fans, yeah. City fans, they get to go. Yeah, I don't get that feeling with Liverpool, but I've always been a Liverpool Yeah, you've fan. always said you like, if you had to pick, yeah. you're Liverpool. It's since I was young, I even, like, when we were young, then we obviously we shared a room with four boys, and, like, Martin and Man New, Paul and Newcastle, yeah. Simon was Arsenal, and I went to Liverpool. Yeah. So we had all our, our own bed clubs. <laughs> all these different the reds and the blues and the black and whites and the... <laughs> Well, I'm saying we all. Everyone used to fight for the TV when the football was on. Yeah. Like, play an Xbox, go away. Football, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, <laughs> divided football households are always funny and shit like that. But um, a lot of that is though. It's a lot of football is a religious aspect. It really is a hundred percent. You can argue that's their church. The songs that they sing at football are their hymns. You know what I mean? It's uh, football in a way is a religion. Yeah, I suppose. And and again, starts wars. Because there's been plenty of fights over footballs and whatnot, the kind of shit like that, yeah. and it's a weird, weird way. But I agree with you, your original point. I could not be normal. That's oh, what I said nah. to you. With t shirts, when people go out and spend 95 quid on a YSL or a cost just to have a badge, and I'm looking at it going, you can have Spider Man on there or fucking Ash and Pikachu, <laughs> you know what I mean? For 20 quid, I can't I can't wear a normal t shirt or anything like that. Well, I've got a picture of a spoosh. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got fucking scores, whatever the f- it's freaking. Super dry. Super dry, exactly. But I can see I could wear that because it's got a goofy little guy on it. Yeah. And it was just a grey shirt. And again, there's people's fashion because you you quite often just wore play shirts. It's whatever, it's fine. You know what I mean? But for me personally, I'm like, well, no, I can chuck the turtles on there or fucking do so, it. I, mean, I, I couldn't spend stupid money on clothes. Yeah. I couldn't then. I, to this day, right, I understand with certain elements of stuff, a house, I get why it could be expensive, a car, a bit of jewellery. I will never understand why clothes need to be expensive because... A t-shirt I've got is probably made the exact same way yours is, but because it's got fucking don't choose the banner on it or whatever, I don't understand how some fabrics stitched together could be valued in two no different idea. ways. It's not like they're put together with seams of gold yeah, or out. No idea. Hey, when I used to work in the military, we had an apprentice in... He was obsessed with buying trainers every month. Yeah. I'm like, how much did the trainers cost this month? Oh, just 200 quid. Oh, yes, yeah, that's mad. How much did it cost this month? Oh, 400 quid. You spent 400 quid about a fucking dreaders. Yeah, and it's... 500 quid. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's the one part of the body. Like, you could leave the house now, and it's quite likely that the top and the jeans won't get dirty. But because they are literally touching the dirty floor, they'll be dirty. Yeah. So you're paying all this money just to have them dirty. Half of them he hasn't took out the box. Yeah, as, as a collecting aspect, I can't argue that, because I do have four pairs of shoes I've never worn. It's just because they're plug come on and Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Batman, and two Pokemons. I've never worn. It's just because they're pretty. Pretty. Yeah. Pretty. So, but yeah, I, I don't understand with. No, I don't. With fabrics no, I and just, shit. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm. 
in a, in a weird way, I'm kind of glad I am who I am. Oh, Not in a so nasty right. way, but I just don't give a fuck kind of attitude. I'll just get on with it. I'm just like, yeah, it is what yeah, it is. You, yeah, it's not a don't give a fuck attitude as in I don't give a fuck about you or yeah. what happens to you. It's a, I don't give a fuck. I'll walk out the house. If somebody says, Chris, you're a weird little fucking bald monkey man, you say, oh, okay, I'm going to shit. Let me crack on. I tell people I know I'm weird. Mm. I know I'm weird. I don't give a shit. I am weird. I do well, weird shit. <laughs> I learned a cool thing that not long ago, right? Uh, it said, in three generations... Which isn't that far. It's it's a granddad, a son, and a yeah. grandson. Everything you do in your entire life will be forgotten. A hundred percent. So there's no point going around now because three generations is not a long time, really, in the grand scheme of everything. No. It's so you should just go around and do Especially what you want. Especially the kids are going want. nowadays. Yep. So three generations time, everything that's the, people think that you if you you walk into a room and it was like oh, you think oh, I'm on stand we run or not even if they were it wouldn't matter because literally. They're gonna die, and you're gonna die. So why does it? Look at my older brother. Look at Martin. He, he's he's had a kid. Well, obviously, my father. And there's Martin. Mm-hmm. He's had a kid. He recently got a daughter, and now she's pregnant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Martin has even reached forty. Years. There you go, mate. So pretty much soon enough, <laughs> everything he's done it because eventually you're gonna be a picture of somebody's thing. Oh, that was that was great. Your great granddad Chris, and then and then another couple of years time that picture might go on, and then you completely. Because you, do you know your great great granddad? Nah, nah, no clue. Do you know your great granddad? I don't even know my granddad. There uh, you go. It's I even know for you. My dad's dad was a dickhead, mm-hmm. and he used to bat them. And my mum's dad was a speeder. There you go. There, <laughs> so I there, don't even know. Their them. existence is going to be gone. <laughs> so eventually, your grandkids, or if, if you know, if you ever have kids one day, uh, but like for me, for example, I don't. So mine's even shorter. I'll be I'll be forgotten about quicker. But you got nieces and nephews. They will their kids and then their kids and kids will. I don't fucking know who my great uncle Chris was. Who the fuck's that? And you, you've been dead for five, ten years, and that's everything you've done in this life. Not to sound morbid, oh, but we've yeah, forgotten. It's fucking but it, it should just add more weight to. Oh, okay then. I should do what I want when I want that. As long as you're not harming anybody or doing anything or stealing from anybody, but you should just... No shooting up schools, people. That's and not how we come in the fucking family picture. No. The family tree, even. Because no. <laughs> they even think about celebrities, for example. Like, for, for us now, Elvis is one of the greatest. Like, <laughs> I, I don't really listen to him, but we can. We don't have to argue. He is one of the greatest. Yeah. Chris Vingy. But even eventually, his music will be forgotten, and it will be people speaking of, you know, when... Uh, Nicki Minaj comes well, on and they go, that's a classic he's got, no, he's got no liabilities now, hasn't he? His daughter died only him. a couple of years ago. But eventually his music is going to die. And like I said, people will look back and say, oh, Nicki Minaj from the 2000s, that's a classic, that. And then that will die out and it'll it'll just keep... Because the, the old school, like Goodfellas or, or Casino or Godfather, in 50 years' time or 100 years' time, no one's going to watch them again. Not the way society is. No, no one's going to watch them yet. Yeah, they're they're, they're going to die out. So oh, I mean, YouTube. everything's going to die out. So be who At you least on the good side, we're, we're not in the family tree of some kind of mass murderer or whatever else. No, no. I no. couldn't be on a Jimmy Savile fucking family tree oh, or a that. fucking Jack the Ripper or imagine something. Imagine that, mate. <laughs> fucking hell. <It's>, uh... <laughs> yeah, it would be good. No, it would be fucked. All kinds of but, um, <laughs> really but that's another reason why I end the videos the way I do is for what you've just said is like keep being you and keep on keeping on because I just yeah believe it don't, just don't be a nonce don't, don't be a nonce don't be a mass murderer um, is that it just so anything else you're fine with <laughs> oh you are fine with so we can we can, I can, I can lay with an ostrich if you want. Yes. Oh no! Come on, because well, you're already lame, mate. Right? It doesn't mean you do Somebody anything. brought up a good point. That believe it or not, we're usually on the same page on this, and I was like, oh, that's a oh, good uh, point. That vegans going, and yeah? stuff and vegetarians, they right. brought up a good point. Right. They were saying about the insemination of animals and how it is it rape or not, and I really thought about it. You know, because in farms, it's even the sperms took took out without consent. It literally is without consent, and we're making them produce lines without consent and inseminating female cows and horses and that right. without consent. That is borderline rape. Because me and you believe, I, I believe he's got rights. I believe he should never be harmed. I don't think a, a, a horse should be harmed, but quite literally we're happy for them to get raped by farmers. 
you know there's a joke where you've got to jack your little horse off just to Jesus get this. Christ, <laughs> mate. That's what I mean. Imagine that as a joke. Jesus. It's Freddie got fingered all over again. It's Freddie got fingered where he's holding a dick in the field. He's eating a sarnie. <laughs> Look at me, Daddy. I'm a real farmer. He had to do it in, uh, in, 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 in Yellowstone. He had to help ejaculate the horse off. <laughs> So I'm gonna get the sperm out. He was like, "Oh!" Well, they didn't let an uh, jackass, didn't they? Chris Pontius drinks it. I couldn't have that as a job. Uh, I'd be curious. I'm not gonna lie. It's a I'd, fucking uh, big dong to fucking jack off. Yeah, that's why. Stick this fucking me. cover thing on it, on it, and it, it does it thing. There's a little <laughs> cup at the end, isn't it? Yeah. Screw it off. It's a really funny got figured, mate. I'm a real farmer, Daddy. Oh, I need to watch that film again. I fucking love it. Well, we will end it there, visuals, <laughs> with horse jacking off. I'm going to have a fight and show Chris some weird shit. No. <laughs> but visuals, take what you want from this. This is a fun chat. We've actually covered quite a few topics here. We've been here, there, and everywhere with this chat, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but visuals, remember to always keep it new and keep on keeping on. Yes. <laughs> keep on keeping on. That's Crossing fantastic. off horses. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do is make sure it's fucking consensual. Make sure you're not harming y- yourself or anybody else, mainly anybody else. If you want to harm yourself, go ahead, but please don't. Yeah, we'd rather be fucking kidding. <laughs> um, enjoy life. Be weird. Build Lego. Build Lego. Fight with the dog. Do whatever. Just be yourself. I'll end it with this. I don't, oh, know, if you, I don't no. know if this will freak you out. There's a jumper that little Richard. Why would it freak me out? I don't, I, was saying, I don't know if it will freak you out. It might not. There's a ju- it didn't freak me out. I'm not bothered. There's a jumper that little Richard Richard's got at work. He's just left it because he's all mean and concrete. I always use it to wipe my sweat. He's not going to use it again. I went to use it on Saturday, uh, fr- 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 Friday, whichever day. Uh, and uh, it's been Saturday for months. It went like that. Psh, got off it and there was about eight spiders in there. Just like we had a couple planted on my end. And someone was like, oh, it's for the spiders. Picked them back off, put them away. But they would have been hating life because they've been wiped to my sweat. But I've got a show brother that day, and he's like, oh, that's fucking me. Oh, and I was like, yeah, it'd be all right. So he's fine. There's one proper gorgeous one in there with a blue back. It was absolutely unbelievable. None of the fuckers bit me, did they? Nice. No, that... Spider saw more than me. Mm-hmm. No, it was just a shock. I went like that, and I went, oh, it's supposed to be a nest now. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking they, shit. They, they say animals, I adore, regardless of what they are, if... If they attack you, it's because you're somewhere where you're not supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's how I see it. Yeah. If you're on the fucking ocean, you get bitten by a shark, it's your own fault. Yeah. Because you're in their territory. Well, it's like walking into someone's house and getting battered. Yeah. So to go out, to, to, for the family members to go out and fucking kill the shark, it's like, fuck you. He was in the wrong place. Yeah. So, That's fuck it. you. So, so, animals, be nice to animals or I'll fucking do you with myself. Yeah. <laughs> Leave animals is one of my biggest things. But we're, yeah, we've reached our visuals. Yes. Sorry for that side tangent. Keep an oogie woogie on. Baby, bye. <laughs>